Hello everybody, I am Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and today in this video, I've got some very important and crucial updates that you should definitely see. Whether you're waiting in the express entry pool for the next all program draw or CEC draw or you've already submitted your application, we've got some very very big updates for you in this video. It has been more than an year now since the all program draws were conducted and around four months since the last CEC draw was conducted and we haven't heard anything official from IRCC until now as to when these draws would be conducted once again. And very recently an internal IRCC memorandum has been obtained which was addressed to the immigration ministers. This memorandum which has recently been obtained has got some really big and unfortunately some disheartening updates for all of you out there. First of all, there might not be an express entry all program or even CEC specific draw in the first six months of 2022. Secondly, about the processing times, they say that the processing times might even reach three years. And thirdly, about the CRS score, when the draws get conducted, they have predicted that the cutoff scores might be 500 or above. So we will talk all about these points in detail. I'll just walk you through that memorandum. I have analyzed it and I just wanted to make it very crystal clear to all of you out there as well. I'm not an immigration consultant or a lawyer, but whatever you read on that memorandum is quite obvious. I'm pretty sure it would be obvious to you as well. But as a YouTuber, I have always believed that I should always portray the right picture in front of you, whatever is the current scenario. I just portray that in front of you. I don't want to portray just the rosy picture or don't give anyone any false hopes. So in this video, uh, you might be disheartened to know whatever are the key updates. Without further ado, let's get started uh, to walk through that memorandum. Okay, so this is the memorandum I wanted to talk about. As it seems here, it has been sent to the Deputy Minister and the Associate Deputy Minister. And this memorandum is for managing the Federal High Skilled Inventory. What is Federal High Skilled? It means all the three streams, not just the Federal Skilled Worker. So if you see here, FHS streams actually mean the Federal Skilled Workers, Federal Skilled Trades and Canadian Experience Class. Okay, so this particular memorandum has got three sections. First of all, we have the summary, then we have the background and then the current status so we already know the background and we have talked about in the previous videos as well so we'll talk about the summary and then the current status all these red comments i have made here to make it easier for you to understand these points so the first point in the summary is about the extension on the pause of the express entry draws and they're proposing that there should be an extension on the pause of these draws from november 1st 2021 to January 31st 2022 so this document might be somewhere from October or November but reading the first point in this summary it's still fine because we are already in the second half of January so so I'm sure people would be glad if they resume the draws from February only but that might not be the case that we'll discuss in the next section the second point is about the reason why they actually want to do all of this so first of all they've mentioned that the travel restrictions have been in place since uh, 2020 and the federal high skilled inventory has grown to a very large volume which means that they're not able to meet the six months processing time for the applications now this third point mentioned here is slightly disturbing because it's about the future state they've proposed that the inventory under the fhs streams at the end of 2021 will be more than sufficient to meet admission targets next year which is 2022 under all of the scenarios currently under consideration in the 2022 to 24 multi-year levels plan so because this memorandum is from october or november at that point of time they must be planning for the 2022 to 24 multi-year levels plan that might be coming out somewhere in the first half of february so that is why they have proposed here we should quickly move over to the next section where they talk about the current status now here I've mentioned all the important points. What are they about? So first of all, it is about the allocation or the quota. So here they have mentioned that under the current options, the FHS admission targets could be significantly reduced with some preliminary scenarios seeing decreases by more than 50% of the 110,000 that were allocated in the previous plan. So earlier they planned that number of people through these streams would be somewhere around 110k or it might be reduced to 55,000, 50,000 
or maybe even lesser. That's scary and very upsetting. Okay, the next point is about the all program draws. This is a question that everyone keeps asking over and over again and nobody has got any answer to it. But now it seems we might have an answer, though this thing might be heartbreaking for many people out there. They say that the FHS rounds have been paused since September 20th. So the last CEC draw was conducted on September 20th. They are referring to that. An estimated 76,000 FHS persons will be on the inventory at the start of 2022, which is significantly higher than what is needed to meet the 2021 to 23 FHS admission targets. And therefore, no FHS intake is required for at least the first half of 2022. Now, in the first point in the summary, they actually wanted to extend the pause until 31st January, but here they're saying that because of the existing inventory, the FHS intake is not required for at least the first half of 2022. So from January to June, you might not see any FSW or CEC draw. This is so disheartening and probably heartbreaking for many people, especially all these FSW candidates. They have been waiting for the draws for more than a year now and also for the CEC candidates because hundreds of them would actually be in a position where their work permits might be expiring soon. So this is certainly heartbreaking for many people. Okay, now the next point is about the processing times. Again, not a good news. In fact, again, a heartbreaking news for all those people who have already got invitations, they submitted their applications. So they've acknowledged here that the FSW processing times are currently 20.4 months. It's expected to be six months, but it's three times more than that. And what's even more disheartening to read is that they expect that this processing time would rise to 36 months throughout 2022 so people might have to wait three years in order to get their applications processed wow i can't believe i'm reading this out what a mess has already been created and it's very difficult to clear all this backlog for them now all right now i want to talk about the second last point where they talk about the estimate or the prediction for the express entry pool size of course a couple of months back it was around 207,000 and they expected that this number would still grow now the last point is about future CRS prediction when the draws get conducted it's kind of a harsh truth that we should all accept of course there might be a pause and that pause might be extended but they're still saying that the draws might be conducted again so that at least is a thin ray of hope for all those people who are waiting but they have said here that because of the current composition of the pool the minimum crs score necessary to receive an ita would likely rise above 500 regardless of whether invitations are further paused or resume at a modest pace in the very near term so all those people who had a score of 470s 475s or 480s i know this is a huge blow for you so when the draws get conducted you might see the CRS score above 500. That is the competition level in that pool right now. And of course, they have said here that the CRS score would likely to remain high for approximately six months. So if they conduct the draws somewhere in February, then maybe somewhere in August, you could see a drop in the CRS score. Coming back to the previous levels of 470s, and if they actually conduct the draws in the second half of 2022, then maybe in entire 2022, you might not see the cutoff score drop back to 470. And that is something what you should expect down the line. 500 is actually a very difficult score to achieve. And they've mentioned here that the candidates with these scores have very high human capital, also tend to have high language proficiency, education levels, significant work experience and potential arranged employment. Okay, so whatever it is, it is in front of you right now. I hope it is crystal clear. Um, just to make it very clear, it was a proposal and I think it would make sense for the authorities to approve that as well and they might have approved it as well. Uh, but I really hope that uh, the current situation is quite clear in front of you right now. I know there are many people out there who have planned their life accordingly so i just wanted to make this video to uh, you know bring this clarity whatever it was it might be difficult to absorb all of that but yes i still wanted to uh, bring it in front of you because i know there are many people who uh, plan their life in that way it's a big decision when you plan to move to uh, a different country 
if you're waiting for the express entry draws there are many people who don't get married who don't uh, you know switch their organizations because uh, obviously the things will get complicated if they get ita and they're expecting it so of course you don't want to delay your life events because of uh, these uncertainties that are out there about the processing times i know a friend uh, who has been waiting for more than a year he left his job he's been doing some freelancing work but he left his core job as earning uh, half of what he used to earn because he's been waiting to get his application approved but now at least he would know that it might be one more year that he has to wait so he should get prepared just like him you should all get prepared according to the scenarios that we see right in front of us right now that was my prime objective to make this detailed video for you so i regularly bring these kinds of videos if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please click the subscribe button please put your comments your feedback in the comment section below thanks a lot for watching this video